It's something about the it's something about the yeah. black of the altar. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. It's something up here. It's something up here. Chapter 3 of Philippians. And we're going to go to verses 13. Okay. Amen. Oh, I love that. Philippians chapter 3. Verse number 13. Amen. What's your name, brother? My brother James. Brother James. I remember meeting you. Amen. We met you at the... At the oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, at the people. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank God for you being with us this morning. Yeah. Amen. Philippians 4, Amen. We have... Would you like a Bible? 3. 
Oh, we got one for Okay. Amen. Praise God. Amen. She's going to get you. She got one for you. She got you. Amen. Philippians chapter 3, verse number 13. If you have it, just say, I have it. I have it. All right. If you don't have it, just say, hold up. Hold up. Amen. We're in morning manner, so we want to make sure everybody gets it. Amen. It's a little different than our regular service of those who are watching. Amen. We are in our morning manner. Amen. So we, try to, we try to teach. Amen. Yeah. Philippians 3, 13. Philippians 3 and 13. Amen. Okay. And it says, brethren, Brother. I count not myself to have apprehended. Yes, Lord. But this one thing I do. Yes. Forgetting those things which are behind. Yes, Lord. And reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press toward yes. the mark. Yes, Lord. For the prize of the high calling of God in Christ. Amen. Let's read that again. Let's read that together. Can we read it all together? Amen. Let's go back to verse 13. Let's read it if you have it. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, and reaching forth to those things which are before. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 So this morning, I just want to talk a little bit about press. All right. Somebody say press. Press. Hallelujah. Say it again. Say press. Press. Amen. I want to talk about press because I believe I'm recognizing the message that the Lord has been giving me is all catered towards the body of Christ. So I'll catered to those who are in Christ. Those who believe, amen, those who have, have been born again. And so we're in a season and we're in a time that we need to continue to, continue to press. Yes. Amen. amen. And what does the word press mean? It means to pursue. To pursue. To pursue. It also means, in this particular verse, in verse 14, it means speeding on earnestly. Mm -hmm. Speeding mm -hmm. on earnestly. Earnestly means seriously or sincerely. Uh -huh. So it's our time now to be in a, in a sincere, in a serious manner to pursue after God. Amen. We are in a time where we need to pursue. Pursue. Pray. Amen. Somebody say pursue. Pursue. Amen. Press means to go after. after yeah. So we're in a time that we need to go after God. Mm -hmm. How many agree with that? Amen. We need to go after God. After God. And so in this particular chapter, uh, uh, in, in, in the book of Philippians, Paul is talking to the saints in Philippi. Mm -hmm. he's, he's writing to them. He's talking to them. And his whole message really is really to encourage them to continue to live like they're living. Because he taught them and he gave them the word. And so because of their love for the Lord, Paul just wants to reinforce and he wants to emphasize that they need to continue on that track of following after God. And in chapter, I think it's chapter 2, he talks about, he was encouraging them to have the mind of Christ. How many know in order to press, you need to have the mind of Christ? Amen. Amen. You have to have the mind of Christ. Amen. So Paul is encouraging the people, as you're pressing, as you're going forward, as you're pursuing, you must have the like mind of Christ. Yeah. And what is that mind? That mind is the mind of others. My God. He's always, Jesus is always about others. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Even God, he said, for God so loved the world that he was. Gave his only begotten son for who? For, us. for the world. Yes. Amen. He gave his son for the world. He gave his son for us, for people. Amen. Amen. So he's always, he always has the mind of others. And so Paul was encouraging the, the people in Philippi. He was saying, I want you to remember, you need to have this mind. Have this mind and let this mind that is in you, be, that is in Christ, be also in you. Mm -hmm. So he's telling us, amen, that that's one something we have to have is the mind of Christ. And so we need to press. And so when you begin to look at this word press, it is actually a metaphor for running, for racing. Racing. Amen. We are in a race. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We know we don't have to run fast, but we know we have to be, amen, at a steady pace. Mm -hmm. I can remember, I'm going to share a little story. I used to run track. And one of the things about running is that you have to stay focused. 
yeah. How many know that? Yeah. That when you're running in a race, you have to have tunnel vision. Yeah. Yeah. I think of, I'm always reminded of a horse. When they're racing, they have those little Blinders. blinders on their eyes. Why? Uh -huh. So they can keep focused. Yeah. Yeah. On the road, just straight in front of them. Yeah. They're not looking to the right. They're not looking to the left. They're straight ahead. They're looking straight ahead. Why? Right. Because they have to be focused in a race. Yeah. And in this race that we're in, we have to be focused. Oh, right. My God, we have to have tunnel vision. Somebody say tunnel vision. Tunnel vision. Yeah. Amen. You can't be distracted. You can't lead to the left. You can't lead to the right. You have to keep focused. Yes. And how many understand the one of the reasons why we have to stay focused is because we have an adversary. Yes. Amen. We have an enemy. Amen. Uh, go, to first, go to first Peter 5 and 8. You got your Bible. Let's go there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. First Peter 5 and 8. First Peter 5 and 8. Why must I press? Why must I press? Why? Because I have an enemy. Somebody say, I have an enemy. I have an enemy. So why must I press? Because This is the first reason. Because I have an enemy. First That's Peter it. 5 and 8. Amen. If you have it, come on, read that to us. First Peter 5 and 8. Mm -hmm. Can I share something? Come on. The Lord gave Angie and I that verse this morning. My God, come on, come on. I had to share that with you. Amen. <laughs> First Peter 5 and 8. You have it? Come on, somebody read it for me. You got it? Be, so be sober, be vigilant, because uh -huh. your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Mm. Come on. We have an adversary who is roaring as a roaring lion. Yeah. Somebody say, he's not a lion, but he's as one. Yeah. Yeah. Seeking whom he may devour. Wow. And so you need to understand that in our oppression, the reason why we have to press is because we have an adversary. Come on. And that adversary is trying to cause us to be distracted. Yeah. That's right. That's one of the things that will take you off your focus on this road is distraction. Yes. Uh -huh. How many know that we have distraction? Yes. Distraction. Yeah. Your family? Yeah. Your children? Your job, grandchildren. Come on, grandchildren. Yes. yes. Co-workers. Yes. My God. Situations. Yes, Lord. Your own emotions. Yes. 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 Your own feelings yes. can be a distraction. Yes. 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 The way you feel, your attitude can yes. be a distraction. You know, whole shot yes. can be a distraction. Why? Because the enemy wants to take you off. Any way he can get you off from focusing on God and pressing and pursuing after God, he don't care how he does it. He can get. He your own feelings. Mm -hmm. That's it. Oh, yeah. Come on. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. He can cause you to be distracted in sickness. Yes. Mm -hmm. My God. Yeah. Come on. You call he cause you to feel have feelings about your own self. You so caught up in your body and how you ache and how you're in pain and all of these things. And sometimes we stay in that place because we want attention. Yeah. Focus. Yes. Yes. 
Right. And God wants us to what? Focus. And so when I begin to also look at uh, this race and when you're running a race, one of the things about running the race, you have to be focused. And as you're focusing, somebody said you can't look back. <laughs> when you look back, you start slowing down. <laughs> My God. When you look back, you start. I, I remember running, and I was probably in like, when I, 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 ran, I ran two different kinds of races. I'm on the four mile relay. Everybody wants one lap around. And then I just run, ran the 400, which is just one, one lap around. And I think the, in the relay, my teammates might have been in second place when they gave me the baton. And I was, boy, I'm telling you, I was running, I was running, I was running. <laughs> And, they, and why did they say, don't look back? <laughs> Soon as they said, don't look back, I look back. <laughs> because I heard that, I heard the pittering, the patterns of the feet. They was coming close, and they were close. And I was like, oh man, I'm trying to go, I'm trying to go. And they came, as soon as I looked back, I started slowing down. Mm. And then all of a sudden, here comes the person that was right up on me. They came right past me. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, you can't look back. Yeah. That's why Paul told the, he told the Philippians, he said, he said, I'm pressing toward the mark. He said, I'm forgetting. But I also lost my place. Yeah. Come, on. Come on. I lost my P A C E, my pace. Come on. Then I lost my place. I was in second, then I fell back in third. Jesus. How many understand that when you're in this pressing God and you begin to slow down, not only do you lose your pace, but you lose the place where you were with God. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're losing your place yeah. when you start slowing down, when you get distracted, when you let things come. And, and interrupt your relationship with God, you start losing your pace and you lose your place. My Lord. How many of you ever was in a place with God and you felt like God was just, you were right there with God and y'all were close and you were in prayer and you were reading your word and you were just connected to God and then all of a sudden something came in and interrupted that time you had with God. My and so then you find yourself slacking off on your word you found yourself not praying as much. That's right. You found yourself interacting with just uh, family members more and letting things come in and take up your time. Amen. And what happens? You lose your place. Yes. And so then you find yourself when you get back there like, I got to get back into this place with God. Mm -hmm. Because I, I stopped pressing. I stopped pursuing. Yeah. And one thing that, that, that struck me about Paul in verse number, I believe it's 13, it says that Paul talks about apprehending. Let's go to that one more time. It, 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 it says something right there. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Somebody got it. I'm trying to flip, man. What you at? Philippians 13. Uh, Come on, read it if you got it. Uh -huh. <laughs> brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended. Okay, brethren, I have what? Say that again, mother. Count myself. I have not. I have. Okay, brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended. I count not myself to have apprehended. Mm -hmm. Read the next part. But this one thing I do, uh -huh. forgetting those things which are behind, yes, and reaching forth unto those things which are before. Mm -hmm. Okay, is there, there's another part about apprehended. Is there another word apprehended coming up? Um, I there's that pressing. I press or, but that is all done. Thirteen is done. Oh, and in you know, verse verse twelve says. Now as though I oh, yes. not yes. as though I have already obtained, oh, neither were already perfect, but I follow after it that I may apprehend mm -hmm. that for which also I am apprehended. It was verse twelve. Thank you. It was verse twelve, mother. I'm sorry, but I know it was a couple apprehenders in there. Look look what Paul said. Paul said, I haven't apprehended, I haven't laid hold of the one who's laid hold on me. Okay. <laughs> Help. Jesus. Help. All right. When you get saved, Christ lays hold on you. Hallelujah. Come on, he apprehends you. Why? Because you heard the word. Yeah. 
Yeah. He, let, he got your attention. And when he got your attention, you came and you gave your life to Christ. So he apprehended you. He laid home on you. All right. And so now my pursuit. Hello. Now my press is to lay hold or to apprehend him. Yes. I'm Him, like you chase him. I'm chasing after him. Yes. <laughs> because in John 17, it says, You have not chosen me, or might be 15, but I have chosen you. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So look, he's already laid hold on you. Yeah, now he tells us, don't get distracted. Thank you, don't, don't, don't look behind you. Don't lose your pace. My God, now it's time to speedily. Mm -hmm. Go after the one who has apprehended you, and now you want to apprehend him. Yes. My God. Amen. I want to apprehend them, saints. Yes. Yes. My God. That's why we have in prayer yes. three days a week. Why? Because yes. that's somebody want to apprehend. Yes. We're living in a time now that it's, he's our only hope. Yes. God is our only hope. Yes. The Bible said, Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am Yeah, yeah. It's not time to slow down in your pace. No, no. Come on. It's time now to get going. Yeah, yeah. Speed it up. Yeah. Get earnest. Get sincere. Get serious about your walk with God. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. He gave you life. Yes. Yes. Let you get up every day yeah. and make a choice to serve them. Yes, and what choices are we making? Right. We get up and use his breath any way we want to use it. Out, the Lord. Shot, and he gave us the breath. And all he's saying is, I want, I would desire you to give it back to me. Right. I ain't gonna make you do it, mm -hmm. but my desire is for you to do it. Right. So I'm gonna present you opportunities to serve me. Yeah. Right. And come on, I'm gonna invite you to church. Come on to church with me. Invitation for you to give God. His breath back. Mm -hmm. Oh, Shanda Baba. Yeah. I go visit the sick. It's an opportunity for you to give God His breath back Hallelujah. in serving. Come on. It's time for us to press. Somebody say press. 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 We got to press, saints. Press in. Press. press in to God. Why? Because we have an adversary. Yes. And our adversary comes to do what? In John 10, 10, he comes to do what? Yeah. Come on. That's what he's after. He want to steal from you. He want to kill you. And not only that, he wants to destroy you. He don't want you to go to heaven. He don't want you to make your heaven your home at all. That's why he wants you to be destroyed. Well, you have no more opportunity. No more chance to choose life. Isn't God awesome? Mm -hmm. God so awesome in Deuteronomy. He said, I set before you life, life and death, blessings and curses, and then he tells you to do what? Choose, Choose life. life. Yes. Isn't he awesome? Yes. yes he, is. he gave you the answer to the yes. test. Yeah. Ha, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, he presents it before you and then gives you the answer. Yeah. He said, Choose life. Yes. Yes. I'm going to give you the solution to this question or this statement. My God, I presented it before you, but he always gives us a choice. Yes, he does. Yeah. My God, he's so faithful and he's so just and he's so true and he's so merciful and he's so gracious with his love. His love is unfailing. It's unconditional. My God, is unending. What kind of love is this that a man would lay down his life yes. for a friend? Yes. That's the kind of God we serve. Yes. Don't we serve an awesome God? Yes. Amen. So why must I press? <laughs> because I must complete my purpose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> why must I pursue? Because I have purpose. Mm -hmm. Why must you pursue? Because you have a, an assignment. Mm -hmm. Why must you pursue? Because there is a call on your life. Why must you pursue? Because your life, somebody else's life is dependent on you. Mm -hmm. yeah. This mind of Christ deals with others. And so my call is attached to somebody. Yes. 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 All right. So why must I pursue? Because I must complete my purpose. My God, you have an assignment, mother. Mm -hmm. 
Come on, you still in the earth? Yes. You still living? Yes. You still breathing? You have an assignment. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. We have a purpose. Yes, Why? This is my last one because I know I'm running out of time. <laughs> Why must I pursue? This is what people people tend to overlook. Because we hear it so often. Why must I pursue Taylor? Why must I press, Sister Glory? Because Jesus is coming back. Mm -hmm. All right. People don't want to talk about that. That's right. Jesus is coming soon. Mm -hmm. In the book of Revelation, it said, Behold, I come, what? Quickly. Mm -hmm. yes. People don't like to talk about Jesus coming back. So you don't pursue. You don't press. Why? Because you think you got every, you think you got you got another day, you got another year, you got another month, you got another week. Yep. But he's coming back. Why must I pray? Jesus is coming soon. My God, and I'm come today like John the Baptist. Prepare you the way of the Lord. Make his way straight in your life. Come on. Give God a place. Give him an avenue that he can work in your life in. Give him an opportunity. Come on. Let's don't just be a hearer of the word. Be a doer. Come on, saints. We are seated, seated in heavenly places. My God, we have been given the authority of God. We have been given resurrection power. That same power that raised Jesus from the dead. My God, that quickens my mortal body. That power lives in you and me. Amen. I got that bit of the most shot. I got that power on the inside, but we're not seeing it if we don't pursue after him. Mm -hmm. He wants us to pursue him. Yes. He wants us to pursue. Go after him. So the doors we gotta lay hold of them. Mm -hmm. Like Pastor say, like it's our necessary food. Mm -hmm. Jesus told the disciples, he said, my meat. Is to do the will. Yeah. My meat. Shande de Ah, that's all I want to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not eating natural food. Eat the word. Come on. But my meat, yeah. my desire, is to do what God created me to do. Mm -hmm. That's all that's on my mind. And I'm telling you now, that thing has been in my heart. God is saying, that's why you gotta understand your call, because you don't have a long time. All right, God. I guess I would call him like yes, but, but he was he had come to the church and he was ministering. And then they did an altar call, and there were people up in the in the altar. Some of the beasts came up for salvation. And when he got to one of the ones that wanted to be saved, he just looked at him and said, Oh, you're not ready yet. I ain't gonna pray for you because you're not ready. And he went on to the next person. Why? Because the Lord showed him his heart of that one. Come on, God knows when you're ready. He knows when you mean business. He knows it. Nobody else can be fooled. We all can be fooled, but God can. But if you got the Holy Ghost and you in pursuit after God, God will reveal to you about somebody else. Especially leaders. He'll let us know, huh? Mm-hmm. But he'll tell us pray. Mm -hmm. Somebody say, I gotta press. I gotta press. Come on, I'm in a race. I'm in a race. It's not, it's not given to the swim, nor the battle to the strong, but he that what? Endure. See, this race is an endurance. Come on, can you endure? 
until the end. My God. Can you endure? Yes, Lord. Amen. So I'm praying today that this word is sealed in your heart by the Holy Spirit. Amen. And that the Lord, in the name of Jesus, will cause you to pursue mm. and to lay hold of the one that has laid hold of you with all of your heart. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. 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 I pray that you got something out of the word. Amen. Amen.